I had an idea of doing this crazy 1930s serial action-adventure film, and the idea was it would be very, very fast-paced and very exciting. I added in these mythological motifs, and I made Star Wars. It was really kind of an experiment, in a way. We were all uh, amazed at the... Uh at what we saw. You'd walk on a set and there'd be 50 or 60 people in bizarre costumes and makeup. I had to push the limits of the technology of the film medium in order to make this movie work. I couldn't have just spaceships slowly moving through the frame. I wanted to be able to pan with them, move with them. It was the first time most of us had spent working with blue screen. Oh, look, there it goes. And it was just, uh, you know, you never saw what it was that you were, you know, you saw a grip with, a, with a, a piece of white tape on a stick walking across a blue screen. And uh, then that was replaced by something quite grand and spectacular. So there was no way to have a real good sense of what was going on here. The problem was is there really were no special effects facilities at that time. I needed to invent some new technology, which was what we did at, at ILM. We were able to create motion control cameras that locked the foregrounds and the backgrounds together so I could have much more freedom of movement. In that case, I was able to then have shorter shots and do have a much more kinetic visual style to the film. I had really no idea of what it would all look like until uh, I saw the film for the first time about a year after we, after we shot. And I was amazed. 